viewers, welcome back to my channel Shilo's Updates. Today we are going to learn a very interesting topic and it's about how to calculate the quantity of plaster. Quantity of plaster calculation is quite easy. So for that you have to remember the following points. These 5 points you have to remember while calculating the quantity of plaster. Okay. So the first point is. For wall plaster, the ratio is 1 is to 6. Okay. So 1 is to 6 means 1 denotes part of cement. Okay. Part of cement. And 6 denotes part of sand. Okay. So for wall plaster, ratio is 1 is to 6. For roof plaster, ratio is 1 is to 4. Here also same thing. Uh, here 1 denotes part of cement and 4 denotes part of sand. Okay. So plaster. Thickness of plaster should be between 12 mm to 15 mm. Next the fourth point is use good quality, use good quality of cement and sand. Okay. Then the fifth point is at site while measuring the quantity of plaster you have to take the materials in the measuring box and you have to measure okay so these are all the five points you have to remember while doing uh, the while calculating the quantity of plaster at site okay uh, so for your better understanding let's see a simple example and their reasons okay. suppose we have to do plaster in a wall and the area is 200 meter square okay 200 meter square or square meter and the thickness uh, the ratio we are going to use is 1 is to 6 and the thickness would be 12 mm. Okay. See here. Uh, if uh, consider this is a wall. Consider this is a wall and in this wall we are going to do plaster. And here I told you the area is 200 square meter. Isn't it? So, 200 means 20. Length is 20 meter and the breadth is 10 meter. Okay. So, the length is, length would be 20 meter and the breadth would be 10 meter. Okay. So, you the ratio is 1 is to 6. For wall, we are going, uh, for wall, we have to use the ratio 1 is to 6. 1 denotes part of cement and 6 denotes a part of sand. Okay, this is cement and this is for sand. And the thickness would be 12 mm. So, the thickness is 12 mm, isn't it? So, we have to mention in this diagram how, see here. So this thickness, this thickness is 12 mm. So we know that 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. Isn't it? 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. So 12 mm, so we have to convert this 12 mm into meter. So it is equal to 0 0.012 meter. Okay, so these are all the given data. So by using this all the data, we have to calculate the quantity of plaster. So quantity of plaster means what are the things we have to find? Quantity of cement, quantity of sand and also the quantity of water. Okay. In this area, we are going to do the plaster. So the first step is you have to calculate the volume of cement motor required. Okay. First step is volume of cement motor required. So to calculate the volume of cement motor, so what's the formula for this? For the first is area into thickness. Okay. Is equal to area into thickness. So area already I told you 200 square meter. Isn't it so? 200 
meter square into thickness is 0.012 meter equal to uh, 0.012 meter so when we so when we multiply this we get the answer 2.4 meter cube so which is the wet volume of cement water okay this is the wet volume of cement water but we have to find the dry volume okay so for, while finding dry volume at site you have to consider the bulking of sand and also the wastage of sand bulking of sand the percentage is 20 percentage and the wastage of sand you have to consider as 15 percentage so you have to consider 20 percentage of bulking of sand and 15 percentage of wastage of sand you have to consider this or you can find the dry volume of cement motor by simply multiplying 1.33 with the wet volume okay so here second one is dry volume of cement motor so dry volume of cement motor so at sight you have to consider 20 percentage of bulking of sand isn't it 20 percentage of bulking of sand and percentage of wastage of sand this both the things you have to consider while uh, finding the dry volume of cement motor or you can simply find the dry volume by multiplying the wet volume with 1.33 okay so is equal to uh, into 1.33 so this is also a correct answer but this is very simple method so you can follow this okay 1.33 is equal to 92 meter cube okay while multiplying this we get the answer 3.192 meter cube step is you have to find the cement quantity so to find out the cement quantity there is a formula is equal to um, is equal to dry volume into ratio into into density of cement okay divided by divided by sum of ratio is equal to so volume we have found already it is 3.192 meter cube 3.192 meter cube dry volume 3.192 meter cube okay uh, into ratio ratio of cement is 1 okay so we have to write this 1 here next density of cement density of cement is equal to thousand four hundred and forty kilogram per meter cube okay so this is the density of cement we have to multiply that value here 40 divided by sum of ratio sum of ratio so what's the sum of ratio is equal to 1 plus 6 okay is equal to 7 so this is the sum of ratio we have to mention here then after calculating we get the answer 56.64 kg the weight of cement okay this is the weight of cement but we need the quantity of cement in bags okay so to convert this uh, uh, quantity of cement in kg to bags we have to multiply this uh, we have to divide this answer by 50 okay so one bag of cement is equal to cement is equal to 50 kg so we have to convert this kg into number of bags so number of bags is equal to
656.64 divided by 50. So we get the answer. So we get the answer 13.13. So 13 bags. Okay. So quantity of uh, cement is 13 bags. Okay. Fourth step is we have to find the sand required. If sand required is equal to fourth step is sand required. For this also, we, if there is a formula is equal to dry volume into ratio into 35.3147 divided by sum of ratio. First, the, we have to substitute this dry volume value. Dry volume value is 3.192 meter cube. 3.192 meter cube into ratio. Ratio of sand is 6, isn't it? So, we have to substitute that value into 35.3147. Uh, How this value came? We have to convert uh, meter cube into cubic feet. We have to calculate the sand quantity in cubic feet. So, we have to Mention this value here, okay? 1 meter cube is equal to 35.3147 cubic feet. That's why I have mentioned this value in this formula, okay? 35.3147 divided by sum of ratio. Sum of ratio is 7. Okay, so while doing the calculation, we get the sand on 96.62 cubic feet. So, this is the quantity of sand. Okay, next we have to find the quantity of water. Water record formula is Weight of cement into water cement ratio. So, weight of cement, weight of cement is six five six point six four kg, isn't it? Into Water cement ratio. Water cement ratio is 0.5 kg of water is needed for every 1 kg of cement. Okay. So, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 kg. Okay. I, I, 0.5 kg of water is required for every 1 kg of cement okay but uh, this water cement ratio uh, is not a fixed value okay it varies uh, depends on the types of plaster okay uh, we are going to implement uh, different types of plaster uh, according to that this value changes also okay this is not a fixed value uh, so when we multiply this we get the answer uh, uh, when we multiply this, we get the answer 328.32 kg or liter. Okay. Um, so, this is the quantity of water required for doing the plaster work. So, the results. Results, we have to must write the results also. Uh, the quantity of cement is 656.64 kg or 13.13 bags. Okay. Then the quantity of sand is equal to 96.62 cubic feet. Then the water is 328.32 liters. Okay. So these are all the results. Uh, cement is uh, 656.64 kg or you can say it in bags also 13.13 bags. 
sand we have calculated in cubic feet so that answer is 96.62 and the water value is 328.32 liters uh, 1 liter is equal to 1 kg okay so it, it's equal to liter only so 328.32 liters okay. so uh, these uh, these are all the quantities we are going to use in 12 mm thickness of plaster uh, these are the quantities so this is a basic method to calculate the quantity of plaster uh, okay sorry in the coming videos, I will explain what are the primary works we have to do before doing the plastering work. Then how to fix the bill mark. Uh, then how to uh, then what are the step by step procedure while doing the plastering works without cracks. Uh, then many more civil engineering related videos I will upload. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you will get the future updates also. So thank you so much.